Hello, my name is Bill, and this is my July wrap-up video. So I read The Engines of God by Jack McDivitt. So it's a space opera. It was a very good read. So it they discover alien monuments all over the galaxy. The first one was found in the solar system before mankind had developed faster than light travel and then it started discovering monuments all over the galaxy. So it's Uh, alien ar archaeology book so follow the team of archaeologists as they are excavating alien sites from aliens that have disappeared from the galaxy trying to figure out what happened. So it was a very good read. So now I need to read the rest of the series. And I was reading some stories from Analog. So May, June, and July. From 1976. So this would have been a reread. I'm sure I would have read all of these cover to cover back in 1976, but the only story is that I remember is the Minotaur and the Mushroom Maze. It's which I... Re my reread of it was last year. And then I was planning on reading the rest of the stories in these three issues. And I just finished these two this month, but none of the stories really stand out. Here, this a Thrust of Greatness by Stanley Smith. About they have discovered that the center of the galaxy has exploded. So, uh, in order to save mankind, they have to move Earth to a another planet or another galaxy. So, aliens install a giant engine in the, at the South Pole to turn Earth into a spaceship. But mankind's not ready for this. And There's huge loss of life from earthquakes and floods. And this one, I 
still haven't read all the stories in it. So it'll stay on my to read pile. Then I got some books from Angry Robot Books. I read Mercury Rising by R. W. W. Green. So I have, I have a review video for this book that I did a while back. So it reads like classic science fiction with modern sensibility but it but I like a little more science and advanced tech and philosophy in my science fiction so even though it was only that even though it was a very good read I only give it four stars because it's not my favorite type of book. Then now I'm reading The Outside series by Ada Hoffman. So I'm three quarters the way through the book. So, once I'm done, I'll post a video about this book. So it's Cosmic Horror in Space, Space Opera. So it says here on the front, a fresh and mind-bending mix of cosmic horror and space opera which is what Karen Tidbeck has to say about it. And she's the author of Jagannath. So I haven't heard of that book. I haven't heard of that author. So, so I'm thinking I'll probably give this one five stars because it's kind of things that I like to see in my science fiction novels. It, the cosmic horror in here is, is probably inspired by Lovecraft, but Ada Hoffman's a much better writer than Lovecraft, so I don't enjoy Lovecraft stories, but this one's very enjoyable. So once I finish The Outside, then I'll read the other two books in the series. The Fallen... and The Infinite. Well, classics and company reading event starting in the middle of August. They're going to read the tale of Genji. So I was planning on getting an early start on this, but now it looks like I'll probably get a late start on it. It's, uh, I think it's the uh, 16th of August till the middle of September that they plan on reading this. But it's uh, reading events put on by Micah Cummings. So 
So his announcement video was on December 20th. And uh, co-host for this read along is Steve Donahue. He's read this book a few times and he'll probably reread it in the afternoon. But for me, it'll take at least a month to read it. That's a big book. So, oh, over a thousand pages. We vote the extras at the end, it's 1120 pages. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.